makes the artist's work so captivating are these universes he creates, which are distinctly his own, but create so many touch points for the viewer to latch on to from their own experience. So while we look at a lot of the art historical illusions for this piece, and we think of European modernism, he has broken down the barriers of how we look at that art and where it sits and how we consider it. The artist had a real love for his materials. The way he's built up the patterns in these different layers of spaces that he's defined is through this kind of real finesse of paint as a medium. And he's building it up to create these kind of chunky little impasto swaths to make the polka dots or the spots. There's a real absence and presence in this composition, which I think is really beautiful. It really plays on these ideas of, of planes and where is your fixed ground and what's your foreground and what's your background and what's close to you and what's not. It's conveying something emotive. It's conveying something that can't be fully articulated or expressed in narrative. It's, it's a sense. Wong only painted a few years before he passed away, and so we only have a few paintings to enjoy and engage with. They were created in this discrete period of intense genius. This is a really singular moment because this is the very first painting by the artist to come up for auction.